Hello everybody, this is your Airsoft Nightmare here, bringing you an instructional video on how to remove a crane stock off of whatever kind of gun you have. Now, this is a G&G CM16 Raider, and I will show you how to detach your crane stock. What you first would want to do, if you know, you like that, pop this back cap off. There should be a little plate right here, you can remove that if I can get this in the screen right there. And uh, there should be a three ring piece like that. It's where you can store your battery and things, which I will show you in a minute. But first, it's removing this. Now, from here, it should be easy if you have an older gun. Mine is about a month old, but I mean, it is kind of easy to remove the stock, which you want to do first. Now, newer guns, you might have to pull this up and pry it, but for mine, it will make it easy. As you can see here, this whole part right here, which it is I used to adjust the stock. We'll just bring it about halfway, pry this down, put your thumb in the middle, pry it down. It comes off as easy as that. Now what I want to show you are front parts of this stock. Set this off to the side as you can see. That's what it looks like here. It's the battery connector here. I've dug in there. As you can see, it comes out here. Put that back. Yeah, as you can see, this is the crane stock right here. See right through that. This is the front. As you can see, there are these two panels right here. You might wonder, you know, what are those for? But actually, I have seen videos of people putting their battery right here in these two spots. Now, to remove these, what you could do is this. If you can see that, twist it inward, pull out. Twist this one inward and pull out. That's what it will look like. And what you can get. Now, what I want to show you is what the battery looks like in that three ring piece. I'll grab that now. Just the battery. Come off my three ring piece. There it is. Right on my gun. But, um, as you can see right here, what you would do is you would put. This does take a nunchuck battery. I do have a Tashi 1600 mAh battery. I'm not sure what, how much this really is, but you just feed it through here one at a time. As you can see, top part first. Like, see that top part? If you can see, there's these parts right here. You would just stick these right on in, put them in one at a time, slide them in, and feed that through, connecting it to the battery from there. But that's what you get if you do it that way. Now, from the crane stock, I have seen people somehow put the battery in and then also feed it through here. Like so. As you can see, and somehow connect it like that. But back way is easier if you pop it out, take the cap off, take that three ring, three ring piece out, and put the battery in, feed the connector through. What I do is, with my gun, as you can see, most of the time I have this stuck in so I have room to um, pee my crane saw up, keep it up like that, leave it in that position until I go CQB is what I mainly play. And um, yeah, so I mean that's what I would do if I were to go playing, but to put the battery in from the back, what you would do is um, take your gun like this, um, depending, we'll just say, Try this back on. It'll make it easier when you show you guys. And it'll also be instructional on how to put it back on. So that's what we'll go for here. Okay, you kind of want to make sure it's in the middle. For, you know, if you have it on, now what you would do is simply put this on, which I forgot to put that on. But you should definitely do that. I mean, not like you're going to use it anytime soon. But uh, you know, put this cap on, pry this back down. Bear with me here. Yeah. Should have it uh, pulled up. Hmm. Oh. Well, you get the point. You just got to pry it like that, and um, that's what you do to get it on like that. But um, that's what this crying sock is mainly about. But um, that's an instructional video on how to take it off and well, not necessarily put it back on. But you get the point. Put the two pieces in, twist them inward, put the crane sock back on, and push it down. Put your three piece, we'll call it a three piece back on, 
put your cap, and then you put your entire butt stock cap back on. But that's an instructional video. I hate how to take this out, but I mean, guys, I'm your airsoft nightmare, and I'm bringing you a review, well, instructional review on how to take off a crane stock. And in the future, I will have sh hopefully shooting tests of the CM16 Mater is an AAG. Uh, non blow back. This is does cover holding the hop up, but I will hopefully get a shooting test for this, and hopefully get um, views or videos of me at my near CQV, and um, get videos of that. So please uh, like the video, favorite, you know, subscribe to me. Uh, will definitely help me out a lot. So it's your soft nightmare here. Signing off. Later.